Hey guys, can you hear me? Do you want to lift? Get in the car. Get in the car. So, how's things? Lol, you got an AS50. <laughs> you just got that out of gear, didn't you? Put it back. As soon as you put the AS50, we can stop. Because if I stop, I'm going to have to shoot you. Unless you put it back in the gear. You need to go to map, units, and then gear and put it back in. Yeah? Put it back in, dude. I know you can hear me. Kill me. Are you serious? Okay. There we go. Now, dude, you're not going to be as stupid as your friend, are you? I mean, seriously. I'm going to back up and pick up the AS-50. Right? If you try and pick it up, I'm going to kill you. You want to go to chair now? Yeah. Okay. He finally found the button. Thanks. Was he your friend? That idiot in yeah, the back not my seat. Friend. Well, he t I had an AS50 in the back of the car, which he took out of the gear. So, you know. He said, he, he said to me, um, friendly, friendly, and then we run. But you shouldn't trust people, man. Like, don't trust people in normal survivor or bandit kits. If you see somebody in my kit, this is a hero kit. And basically, you've got to hardly shoot anybody to get one. So, I wouldn't trust anybody unless they're wearing one of these. I'll, uh, I'll take you in, man. In, if... in, in the right. In oh, the there's right a bus there, dude. And then... Dude, do you want to check out this gear? I don't know if he's got anything. Check out the bus, man. You have to go inside first. Scared in the bus. Yeah, yeah. If you go into the back seat, bear in mind if you come out with a gun, don't point towards me. Is anything good? Well. The bus man is pretty screwed. Now, nah, dude. Dude. Yeah. This, this guy here has got an AK. Yeah. Yeah. The problem is, I don't trust you 100%, dude. So don't pick these guns up yet. Uh, you got some guns here. I'm going to drive off. Don't pick them up till I've driven off. Yeah? I'll see you in a bit, man. So I've decided since Rincherno, because that guy brought me across here when I was taxiing him, I would just go and see in the hospital, which is just across on the left, whether or not there's any medical stuff. Now, as I was on my way across there, I heard a couple of shots behind me, and uh, I've just marked on the hill where I think they came from about 500 meters up there. It's a very common sniper spot. Unfortunately, it seems a couple of zombies have aggroed me, which undoubtedly means they know where I am now. Um, but I think there's a couple of rogue snipers. Don't think there's anybody behind me. Ooh, the bar's blocking my way. Ah, uh, it looks like there's four of them. I'll kill a couple. Rest might learn. One down. Two down or severely injured. 
And it's this guy's lucky day. I'll leave him. Now, hopefully, they might have got that hint. Undoubtedly, a lot of you are going to be wondering why I didn't kill all of those guys. And I let that guy go when he would have probably killed me. And I could have probably taken them all out. I had another three rounds left in that clip there. But I don't want to spoil the game for them. I can hear a bus. <laughs> what is that guy even thinking? Looks like some Bambis found his first bus. He wants to head out onto the highway. Onto the open road. I hope he's got a driving license though because... Uh, from what I've heard, not a lot of Bambis do. So I was just looking for a couple of bits of industrial gear in this building here. When I noticed that there was a... A Gillage Sniper up there. I didn't know he was there, but I had noticed there was a helicopter up on top of the International Hotel. Which you can't actually climb up onto, so I can't flank those guys. That is definitely a Gilly guy. They must have parked it up there. Pretty pretty nice landing, to be honest. Um, I marked it on the map, of course, as I've been uh, doing in the past. As I said in a previous video, it is so useful to do that if uh, distances are on. And you don't need a GPS to mark on the map. A lot of people think you do, but um, you just shift and click where you think somebody is and then it tells you their range and you have to keep re-ranging them with a rangefinder. I haven't seen these guys do anything to anybody yet, so... I'm just gonna wait it out. Oh, they're shooting down at somebody. No, you don't. Well, I think that saved somebody at least. The guy's gone prone. Oh, he's got in his helicopter. I could probably shoot through the glass there. I mean, it would take at least two rounds to do so, but... He's leaving now, which is uh, all already wanted from this, because they were sort of just shooting down at noobs in Cherno. That is one of the stranger takeoffs I've seen. Weather's pretty bad now, and just as I was going to my car, a AS-50 round hit just above it from a... Whoa! Oh my god, oh my god. Ah, I should have killed those guys. I should have killed those snipers I let get away, because they've literally waited for me. Hopefully I can get across here. Oh! <laughs> he nearly helped me out there. His awful aim nearly killed the zombies chasing me. Nothing like hitting 20 meters behind what you're shooting at. Now, I am actually in a little bit of trouble here. Because I haven't got any silence rounds in my pistol. I've got some in my car, back at base. But I haven't got any in my pistol. And I haven't got any in my silenced MP5. So, I can't shoot these zombies with the M24. Because literally the whole city will be after me. I think... That guy can't get a bead on me if I uh, if I come down behind this wall. Hopefully. He's just up there. The unfortunate thing as well is I can't see him either. I've just been scouting out that sniper. And I've noticed, I don't know if you saw there, but... Um, I'm just going to try and get a shot on him. There's a guy on the left. Now, he's not wearing a ghillie, so he wasn't one of the original guys. I think he's just been drawn across by the zombies. I'll uh, warn him off. Yeah, I think he's gone. Hopefully. I'm still in cover from the guys up on the hill where that um, 510 metre sign is. Unless they've moved around. It has been a couple of minutes. Hopefully I'm not going to get shot at getting across here. Because I'm very open now if there's a guy in these left woods and also up on the hill. And there's a dead body around here. Which, um, those snipers might have killed as well. I think the best option, given those zombies aren't going to give up, is probably to get out of here. Oh boy, I'm going to come out into the open here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, made it. Well, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Get back to base and uh, rearm. It's uh, night time now. Uh, it took a while to drive back up. It was getting dark as I was leaving Chernow. I can't show you where my base is. In fact, there's a heavy crash site right there. But my base is up near the north of the map. It takes uh, a while to get up there. I'm going to see if I can get to that crash site. 
a bit worried though because there's going to be a lot of zombies around it and I think I've, yeah I've got I've got my backup gun in the car it's got G17 I've got no ammo for my uh, M9 and no bandages so I've got to be very careful here It's very unnerving out here this time of night. I'm figuring I might be able to, because I can't really see anything, I might just throw a grenade up there to attract the zombies to me or perhaps kill them. I don't think that was hard enough, but um, it might draw them to me. Might be worth checking a flare up there as well. At least then I can see a little bit better. Much better. What a lot of people don't know is that this G17 has got a, uh, a flashlight on it, which is why I keep it as sort of safety hanger in the car. This looks very eerie, that crash site, with that red light on it. Because it's a pretty useful gun if you haven't got night vision goggles at night, this. My car is a long way away down there. Thought I heard something. Man, it is very creepy with your back to the dark in this. M4A1 Hollow. Pretty good gun, that. I might take that because I haven't got an assault rifle. Back at base. It's got a noob tube. The car looks a million freaking miles away right down there. And you got to run through all of this darkness. Oh my goodness. This is the eeriest thing in this game. Hopefully I can get in there and get the hell back hit back out of here. Set up a fire at base and, uh, and sort out my gear because it looks like there's nobody around here for frickin' miles. Which is both a good thing and a bad thing, given that the world's full of zombies. So this is the road back to my base. It is a long, long way from Cherno though, like 20, 30 minutes. I've uh, parked up in the woods behind this house here because uh, you can get a bit of loot, a bit of water from it. And uh, my other vehicle's just hidden in, a, hidden in a tree here. I think I've set up a fire already. I've tended to do this. Oh, there's a hopper down there. I'll sort him out in a minute. I've tended to do this where I sort of create a... Um, I think my other car's just on the right. But, uh, I don't think he's going to bother me for a second. Uh, where I tend to put the uh, the lights across each other to oh, so another zombie to create a sort of uh, pretty big area where I can see what's going on around me. I'll uh, take this guy out. Oh, missed! Wow! Wow! He takes a lot of rounds. G17 is like a full bullet kill, I think. Well, got him at last. Oh, I've pissed off the other one now. Not that I was going to sleep with him around. There he is. What you're seeing there is uh, rule number five of Frankie's Bambi Apocalypse Code. When zombies are down, you make sure they stay down. I'm just going to sort out my gear now in this uh, UAZ. I've got quite a bit in here, as you can probably see. Uh, at least I've got some high explosive rounds. I've been saving those up. So I'll be able to uh, use those in my noob tube. And uh, there's my tent to set up. I think I'm going to put this... In fact, I'll just tr test out my gun. Here it is. I've never seen this gun before in game. Just look at that. That is a cool looking gun. Unfortunately, the uh, flashlight on it doesn't work. Let's light up my fire. But he does have a noob tube and... <coughs> making sure he's dead. And a pretty good sight, as you saw there. Holographic sight. I actually prefer that to the red dot sight. I find it easier to aim with. Probably wondering what I'm doing here, hopping around. <laughs> but uh, this is the only way to pitch tents in DayZ. They are very temperamental. You've got to find like the exact bit of ground or they just say, Hell no! I'm not pitching my ass there. 
think I'll get a bit of sleep, because tomorrow morning we have got to go and pick up some more Bambis. Dun, dun, dun. So, very early morning right now, and I've just received a distress call from a Bambi who has uh, apparently been teleported by a hacker all the way down to a tiny island out in the ocean and can't get back. So I've decided to mount a bit of a rescue miss mission, even though it is about 4 a.m. Um, I've drove my UAZ back down to the coast to where my PBX is. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna launch this into the water. Job well done. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can get across to Scalisti Island and see whether or not I can, uh, I can commandeer a helicopter from there, as that's where it spawns from, to fly down and uh, and pick the Bambi up. Percentage chance of this mission working? Probably pretty low, as there's only one helicopter per server. But I have brought all my military hardware. I freaking love this PBX. It is the fastest boat in DayZ. Wow, I'm really not that a long way away from shore, didn't I? I'm so glad that torchlight's going into it, because... Uh, I hate swimming in deep water where you can't see what's underneath you. So I'm just heading under the cover of darkness to Scalisti, which as you can see is quite a distance from the shore over there, very difficult to get to. And very dangerous as well these waters because uh, as you can see there's a huge wreck there. I want to be uh, very careful I don't end up beaching my PBX on a rock when I'm coming in here. Or it's going to take me a long time to swim back there. I've actually come round, um, I might put up a map in the video, but I've come round the side of Scalisti, uh, to the other side people expect you to come from. Hopefully this will mean I'll be able to sort of infiltrate in here without anybody noticing I'm actually here. Hopefully. Well that's the plan. Reloading just in case the, uh, the plan doesn't go quite right. Now it looks like there is in fact a broken helicopter up here next to these buildings, probably freshly spawned in actually, although I can hear flies. Mm, this is worrying. I know people tend to hang out here and guard it whilst their teammates come back with repair things and it's very unlikely to find one. Oh there he is. There's at least one guy. Um. This could be problematic. It looks like he hasn't got military grade equipment. Hey buddy. How's it going? I'm gonna need to borrow your helicopter. If you don't mind. If you put down your gun and come out, I promise I won't shoot you. Come on buddy. You can come out man. I'm not gonna hurt you. I just need to borrow your helicopter. Like seriously, I'll bring it back. DX Story just stopped recording, but this guy spoke to me and I told him that I'd got some vehicle repair parts in a tent on Scalisti. I wish I'd do so. I've just been to fetch those. I'm firing this up now to uh, help him see. And supposedly he's going to get his flashlight out to show he's friendly. I'm just flank it around this guy. You still there, dude? Can you hear me? Okay, you still got that torch out. Just come out, I can't see where you are, dude. Just come out around the front of the helicopter. Yeah, there's a zombie after me at the moment. Just come out around the front, so I can see you've got your torch out. Okay, sweet. Cheers. Alright, I've got I, I got other parts in my backpack. I don't know if you want to help repair it or not. I think I'll probably drop them here. Let me drop. Just don't know how much space I've got. Um, in fact, there's a uh, night vision in my backpack if you want one. I think. I beat it about the tent. 
Is that? Yeah, yeah. There's some night vision goggles in there if you want them. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's all right, dude. Well, I'm borrowing your helicopter. You found it. <laughs> but keep your torch out, obviously. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well. I'm just gonna drop some gear so I can actually repair this thing because I need six slots free. Because I didn't know who you were. Yeah. Right now. Um, I had some guys pretty much like here you know, with this sniper rifle. Shoot you, but um, wherever the hell you want. Oh right, they were gonna shoot me, were they? <laughs> well, I'm friendly, dude. Yeah, well, just keep your torch out, dude, and because um, obviously I'm not gonna shoot you because I could have if I wanted to, but just keep it out and then I'll repair this. Well, I'm literally, you know the island that's out in the sea down there on the map? I'm just going to fly down there, pick up my friend, drop him on the shore and bring the helicopter back for you. But there's no other way to get him back, really, so... Uh, I've actually got silence. I'm not, look, I'm not going to... I'm going to get the damn thing out and I'm going to pop the with that. Okay, go for it. Go for it, dude. There we go. I'm shooting. Don't uh, panic. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's probably the helicopter, dude. It's 11,000 meters that way, so it'll take me five minutes to fly there and about four or five back. Okay? We're at 1,100 meters at the moment, dude. <laughs> in fact, there's two people in the helicopter. Is there? I know. There's only one. There's only you. It is, like, just bright white out here. No, it doesn't look like he is, does it? Is there a cow? Was that a cow? Yeah, I see a pig or something. <laughs> <laughs> Just out here on its own. Oh well, I'll tell you what, dude. I'll um, I'll take you back then, because I told him to be here. Just bear in mind, somebody else might have seen us come down. Are these your guys here in Gillies? Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, fellas. Hey, how's it going, guys? Alright. Not too bad, are you? Yeah, not bad, mate. G. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Right, that's that's alright. <laughs> just get the shit out of me. I was sat in the dark. I chopped. I was like, <laughs> the boys go, hey, hey, mate, I want to borrow your chopper. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All day getting stuck together. Right. Oh, Right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Fucking noise. Yeah, I'll die, man. No problem, guys.